Let's talk about novelty items. Now every year when it comes to National Day, you have brands coming up with all sorts of products to make you feel patriotic. Now we've had the Samurai Burger make a comeback and the Nasi Lemak ice cream. But of all these items, the one that stood out the most was Camel Cream. Now let me explain. Over the National Day weekend, I saw an IG story from Innisfree promoting the launch of their new Camel Cream and Facial Cleanser. I couldn't believe it but it was an actual product so you know I definitely had to check it out for myself. The video showed a demonstration of how to use the Camel Cream so let's take a look. So there are three colours and it says rich colours with matte finish. The guy does a swatch. Okay now the swatch looks kind of sketchy. When it first starts out, it's actually coming out real strong with pigment and then it fades out. So, okay. And then you have the guy doing a demonstration of how to put on the Camel Cream. The stripes that he did on his face make him look like a watermelon, unfortunately. Now full disclaimer, I am not a beauty guru, I'm just here to review the product as someone who has served NS before. Now I'm not sure that this has been approved by Mindef, I doubt it at all, but I want to try and see if this matches up to the Camel Cream that we are using as a standard issue item in national service. So I went down to Innisfree to get the Camel Cream and Facial Cleanser and this is how it looks like the Camel Cream in this little box and the Facial Cleanser. The Camel Cream cost $14 while the Facial Cleanser cost $13. Already, there is a very big difference in price point compared to the standard issue Camel Cream. Now I think it's time to unbox this and check out what's inside. So this is the box right here. It says Innisfree Extreme Power Camel Cream. SPF 50 plus. I don't know what PA++ means. And at the bottom it says tea tree leaf oil for soldier. On the back of the box it says this matte type camel cream provides clear and vivid colors while protecting the skin from UV rays. The directions say apply an appropriate amount to face with fingers in an even layer. That's it. Okay, so the little compact is pretty much the same size as the box. Yeah, let's try to open this up and see what's inside. Ooh, okay, so this is what's inside. So you have black, green, and brown. Black and green are the colors that infantry soldiers will use, and brown will be the one that Dennis Chu would use. So of course, I'm just gonna be testing out the black and greens today. I'm not gonna be touching the brown because I'm not here for another scandal. So in the compact itself is a mirror with some Korean words that I can't understand. Okay, so there's also a protective plastic layer over the mirror which I'm trying my best to peel off with my nubby fingernails. Okay, I'm slowly getting out. Alright, done. So what I want to do now is to swatch the colours and to see any differences between the Camel Cream that is standard issue and the Innisfree Camel Cream. So I've got the green camel here. It's been a while since I've used this. Wow. Yeah, clearly it just popped out like that. Okay, I think it's still usable. Alright. So this is the green from the standard issue camel cream. Now for the black. Alright, there's the black. I know this is not how you normally swatch things. I'm not a beauty guru like I've said before, so I'm just trying my best here, okay guys? This is really gonna be a messy video. Now, I don't think this is gonna be a one-for-one -one comparison to the Innisfree Camel Cream because at first glance, the standard issue Camel Cream is more liquid and the Innisfree one is more of like a cream, like literal cream in this kind of palette. But let's try it out. I'm going for the green. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm trying to like pick up some with my finger in the palette. And immediately, compared to the standard issue cream, this one feels very light. Like I have to swipe my fingers quite a number of times to get a certain amount on my finger. And even then, it looks really light. Now, you know those kind of like watercolour palettes that we use in primary school? Yeah, it feels exactly like that. It's appearing very sheer. I don't know if that's the right word to be using, but let's try to swatch. Okay. Does that read on camera? I don't know. Like, it kind of looks already very different from the shade of green that we use. You can see that this is a very bright green. This one is more of a darker forest green and you can still see a bit of my skin tone underneath the cream. Like, it doesn't really stay as much or cover a thick layer as the green standard issue one. Let's try the black. I don't know how beauty gurus do this every day. This is a lot of work. 
Alright, now to try the black, I'm just gonna swipe my finger a few times, just to be fair. Okay, so that's how it looks like, and I don't know, it's not giving me the kind of coverage I would have expected. Again, it has a similar kind of sheer effect as the green, and you can still see my skin tones. It's not as solid or pigmented as the black from our standard issue one. So you can tell from this alone how it's gonna turn out when I try this on my face, so yeah. Alright, so we've already done the swatches to see how it looks on my skin, but now I really want to try doing a full face of Innisfree Camel Cream. Is this gonna be a mistake? Maybe. Pray for me. Now, I'm just gonna be using the little mirror inside this compact. as how we would be putting on Camel out in the field. Now, the mirror obviously here is bigger than the one that we have in our standard issue item. So hopefully that helps. I'm just gonna get a lot of green to start off with. Now the technique that I'm most familiar with is to first cover your entire face in green and then use the black to create stripes to break the lines of your face. So whatever technique you guys use out there, good on you, but please don't come for me because I'm sure everyone's technique of putting on camo is different. Also in the Innisfree IG story demo, the guy only covers his face and leaving his ears and neck exposed, which is technically not correct because in outfield, you're supposed to be covering all parts of your skin that is exposed, sometimes even your hands, if you're not wearing gloves. But today, for this entire video, let's just keep it easy, I'm just gonna cover my face. In an ideal situation, I will cover my ears and neck, but I'm not going out to the field today, so we don't need to do that. Alright, so I'm trying to get more green, because honestly, like even during the swatch, I realised that you need a lot of green just to do a proper clean one on your skin, so let's try this out. Okay, I have the first stroke done. Honestly, I, I think this green looks really different from the camo that we are used to. So I don't know if people who use this out feel will be kind of like allowed to do so because you want everyone's camo to look the same and standardized. And if you're that one guy who's using Innisfree, I'm sure you can be picked out in a line because this green is not the same. So when my finger went in for the second stroke, it kind of moved everything out of place and now there's still more exposed parts of my skin. Now usually you don't have this much time out in the field to put on camo but this is going to take a while because the cream isn't sticking as much to my skin as I would have expected. Well I tell you, if you have to use this much of camo in one sitting, your commander is going to f*** you up. This is a very, very light first layer and I don't think this will be acceptable in any situation because you want to have full coverage and this is not it. I to say, you'll get in trouble if you use this, I'm sure. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm starting to realize how impractical the design of this palette is because when your fingers are going into the green, you are also going to be accidentally hitting some black and brown if your fingers move around. This is going to be very different from the way you use your camo cream tubes. You just need to squeeze out one colour at a time, which is much more effective that way. So yeah, one consideration if you plan to use this outfield. Guys, this is not looking too great. Maybe, I don't know, I'm quite worried, concerned. I don't know man, please send thoughts and prayers. Okay, I'm starting on my nose already, but I'm going back to touch up on my forehead because it's getting very patchy, taking forever. Oh my gosh. Like that house, yeah? <laughs> I'm never going to get out feel like this. By the time you're done with this, the enemy will have found you. Okay, now to the nose, the bridge, and then maybe, yeah, moving on to the eye. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. Wow, okay, I'm at my eye area and it's taking a lot to cover everything. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I've been doing this wrong because I realized if you just put in a few strokes at a time without going in over it a lot of times, it kind of appears even. But the problem is that you gotta do it so many times to get even coverage. Like this is taking me way more time than I expected and I'm only like, you know, less than half of my face done. We're gonna be here for a while guys. You know what, maybe Innisfree designed this with brushes in mind. But of course, who in the world is gonna bring a brush out for you? You're gonna get shot. Guys, tell me how this looks. Leave a comment below. Please help. I'm starting to look like a very budget version of the Hulk. I won't be surprised that by the time I'm done with this, the green palette will be out of any of the cream 
Because I'm really like maxing it out. I can see the depression going deeper and deeper in the palette because I'm swiping so many times to get coverage. So yeah, like I said, normally we will even cover the ears anywhere there's exposed skin, but ain't nobody got time for that today. And if we were to do this video, this would be like a documentary. It'll take about another hour to get this done. There's no designated time to have everyone collectively put on camo. It's really like you do it on the go. And if you were to do this on the go, I'm afraid you might not get your full face covered in time to like get in position. Alright, we're now down to my chin. I'm glad I didn't put a time limit on myself because like I would have filled this challenge from the start. Now, as you can see me working around my mouth, the one thing that you want to avoid when putting on camo is pee lips. I have not decided whether I wanted to censor that, but yeah, pee lips. Oh my god, I just looked at myself in the monitor and I look hideous. I can see very close up patches of green that are not covered. And this wouldn't be a problem that I'll face when using the standard camo because the coverage is very even when you use cream. I'm very curious why Innisfree would want to make this. Because like everyone during National Day would do something food related. So I guess maybe they wanted to stand out and like, hey, we didn't forget about the soldiers. Let's make a camo cream for them that would take three hours to put on. Maybe that was the thought process, but I don't know. I'm just speculating. Now for the pussy lips. Wow, this is taking way too long, guys. I'm feeling the strain. Now, I can imagine hearing my commander shouting at me for like being such a slow-ass person. Or everyone else is in the tunnel ready to move out. You're just there with the Innisfree palette like, Guys, hold on! I'm still putting on my last layer. Like, it's taking forever. So the trick for your lips is to actually go in a bit more because when you talk and move around, you start to eat some of your camo as well. Oh my god, speaking of, it doesn't say if this is edible. Now I just realized something, the standard issue camo cream is actually food safe, I think. Like you can eat it and not die basically. But it doesn't say about anything related to that on the Innisfree camo cream. So if I die from this video, you know what happened, okay? But wow, the patchiness is really obvious. Like I look at my forehead in this mirror and there's so many parts that I need to go over to like get an even coverage. I'm very curious also, did anyone at Innisfree try this out before they actually put it out on the market? There's a reason why we don't have cosmetic brands developing camo cream for the army. Wow, I've been going through this palette and like, I don't know how much more of the colour I'll have left by the end of this video because I've used a lot of it just for this alone. Maybe this palette is meant for like a one-time use. You just use it once and then you have to go back to industry and buy another one. I'm trying my best to get my eyelids covered but each time I go in and then when I blink, it moves around. It doesn't stay like the standard issue camo would. I wonder if Mindev is watching. Mindev, if you're watching this video, maybe you want to like give Innisfree some tips on how to develop a consistent formula for this because like this is not really working out as you can tell. Really, by the time I'm done with this, I will miss H hour by like another three more hours. No matter how much I'm trying, I keep seeing new patchy spots and like, we can do this all day, but no, I'm not going to afford that kind of time for this. Alright, so I've decided this is as far as I'll go with the green base. I don't know how it looks to you guys, but it's not working well. Like, the patchiness is just getting to me. In my ears, I can already imagine my commander shouting at me for not doing a good job. We're just gonna keep going and move on to the black stripes. Now how I would usually do the black stripes would be to do three diagonals. So let's hope that works with this camel cream. Because usually with the standard issue one, it's a one and done situation with one stripe each. But this one, I'm afraid might take longer. Okay, so... Mm, Alright, not the best, but I'm just trying to like draw an outline first. Guys, I'm really scared how this will turn out. I know I'm trying my best to do an honest review here, but I don't want Mindef to come after me. Or Innisfree for that matter. Now I'm thinking of what are the benefits of this camo cream, apart from the fact that it's SPF, because it's increasingly harder to find a reason why I would use this as a replacement for standard issue camo cream. Now I'm going over my left eye, right down across the bridge of my nose. I'm trying to get the nose bridge right, so that it looks like a line across. Honestly, I'm trying to give this product a fair fight, but it's just working against me at every turn. 
Like, I realize this isn't a very clean line across my face yet, but let me just do an outline again, and then I'll go in with the green to touch up, because the lines are so wonky. I'm struggling to see how this will come together because there's already so many patchy spots. But you know what, you gotta have faith, you know? Alright, so this is how it looks like with two stripes on my face. I still have a third one to go across my lip. Please pray for me. Again, I'm just going in for an outline. But okay, so now I look less like a watermelon because the stripes are di diagonal. But I would normally try to break it up with another line here and I think here. I, I kind of forgot already what I normally do. But let me just try to break it up. I don't remember how many lines you're supposed to draw because when you do too many, it starts to look like a fence. The outcome that you want to achieve is just breaking up as much of your facial features so you don't have your nose bridge standing out. That's why you cover it black. So as long as that is close enough to the effect, I'm okay. Guys, I think that's it though. I think that's really it. I've tried my best and this is the look. I just realized something, I could have easily turned my mirror this way to get a wider portrait. So, silly me. Oh, I just look at myself on the monitor, I look scary. So final thoughts, was this the look I was going for? No. Is this the best product? Not exactly. Do I have many regrets? Yes. Again, let me make it clear, I'm not a beauty guru. I have no qualifications to review this. I'm just trying it on as someone who's done national service before. I don't know why I decided to do this video. Innisfree, if you're watching this, let's talk. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Innisfree or Mindef, but could be. I just spent a good hour filming this and I'm just reconsidering all my life choices right now. Anyway, that's all the time I have. I have to go wash this entire face off. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe for more content like this. Bye! No, no, say no.